Chapico people! Okay, the first step to do the Chapico tiramisu is the pastry cream. Pastry cream is uh, egg yolk, sugar, corn flour, and boiling milk. So we start with mixing the sugar with the egg yolk. You don't need to whip anything, you just mix together. Okay. Then we add our corn flour. Stack. Until it combined. And then we wait when the milk starts to boil. Alright, look at that! Our milk is boiling, so we take it off the fire. That is set for a few seconds until it stops boiling. We take our egg and sugar mix. We put it inside. Don't put this on the stove, otherwise the egg will cook. So we put all this in. This stack. And we stir it. To be a little bit fast. And then we go back on the stove for like 10-15 seconds until it becomes oven. It's stirring, it's stirring until it becomes hard. And as soon as it starts to be thicker, we take it off the stove. And that's it. See? This is our pastry cream. And now we take it off the pot and we put it in a cool place. Like a, like a glass container. This. And we're gonna chill this until it's cold, like super cold. I recommend you to make this maybe the day, the day before and leave it in the freezer overnight. If you don't have time, you can put it in the freezer for an hour, an hour and a half, until it gets cold. Alright, the pastry cream we did before, or yesterday, is cold. So we go in our mixer. You can do it by hand as well, or if you have a hand mixer, put everything in, Dag. and together with this, we put our mascarpone. Look at this creamy cheese! Until it combines, it will take only probably 10 seconds. <laughs> Okay, so this is half of our cream. It's already super delicious, but we're gonna do better. So I whip some cream and uh, I'm gonna fold it through this mascarpone and pastry. This is half whip, it's not like super hard. And you fold it through until it's all combined. It's done. And uh, now the main ingredients: coffee. If you have a mocha, make it in the mocha. If you have a powder, use the powder. If you have a machine, use the machine. Coffee. And uh, I'm gonna use today Tia Maria. It's a coffee liquor. You can use anything you like, but this. Give some more coffee flavor to the tiramisu. And now it's time to burn your hands. So we're gonna do layer. You can use anything you like, your favorite container or a glass. So we put one layer of cream. Like that in the box. 
bottom and then we go in with the cookies this is a sponge cookie until they are done and we keep going So the tiramisu is that. Last but not least, is the cocoa powder on top. You can rest this first for two to three hours in the fridge before you eat it. And then put the cocoa powder or you can put it right away and then rest it. So this one goes in the fridge for two to three hours at least. Amigos people, by yourself, with your friend or with your family, enjoy the tiramisu. Ciao!